jackets, earmuffs, jackets. And we bought everybody brand new combs. Rhonda Winter is on a mission to make Christmas a little brighter for those less fortunate. But here's what's incredible. This year, she lost her job and months later, her home. Still, she'll tell you her mother's words from so many Christmases ago have never rung more true. And she used to always say when we would complain, there's people out there much worse than you, Rhonda Lynn. I now see. It was just two weeks ago when Winter decided to begin collecting donations, and friend Amy Metzler, who she's now living with, agreed to help. Honestly, I thought, she, where's she going to get any donations? So needless to say, I took her computer room over, uh, her son's room, and um, it's, it's been quite overwhelming. In addition to clothing and personal hygiene items, there's bags. Okay. Over a hundred of them with snacks. Volunteers will distribute them Christmas Eve to Louisville's homeless. And Amy Metzler says she's looking forward to giving back. Because as a girl, she sometimes only had Christmas, thanks to donations from strangers. It makes you feel wanted. And that, that's what I hope she accomplishes. And we accomplish that, that, that they're, not, they're not nobodies, that they're wanted. So wanted, in fact, that a woman with nearly nothing is willing to give them everything. And this is going to be my Christmas. This is it. This is my Christmas. I'm giving my Christmas to people who are less fortunate. Rhonda Winter and what she is calling the Christmas Caravan will arrive in downtown Louisville around 930 tomorrow morning to distribute clothing, personal care items and snacks. Eric, about 100 bags. And she tells me next year she hopes to give out 200 bags.